Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today there is nothing but blue skies for the Godot game engine. Well, sort of. What we've got here is a new plugin for Godot from Tokusan Games. It is called Sky 3D. Now when I say new, I mean new-ish. It's actually a revival of a Godot 3 plugin that Tokusan Games are now going to be developing. Now this name may actually sound familiar to you because these are the developers behind the game. Um, out of the ashes, but they've also released the technology they use to make these games. If you're a regular this channel, this next one you will have heard of. And that is Terrain 3D. Now this is a high performance editable train system for Godot 4. It is fully open source. It is very cool. It's written in C++ by the way. Uh, and this one uh, gives you a ton of functionality in terms of creating train for your game. It's one of those things that has always been a little lacking for Godot. Why it does not have a train system out of the box. And there's a couple of implementations out there of uh, train systems. But Train 3D is probably the most preeminent and the most capable of the options out there. And a companion to train is skies. So if you want to have a day-night life cycle, uh, light cycle, for example, well, that is where Sky 3D comes in. Now, Sky 3D is actually, uh, there was a project for Godot 3, and this is what actually was abandoned, and now they've taken, and Tokusan Games have taken it, ported it to Godot 4. This is entirely GD script based, um, and it gives you full day-night life cycles for Godot 4 game engine. It is fully open source. It is actively developed. In terms of features, uh, you're automatically rotating sun, moon, and the stars, dynamic clouds, and atmosphere that change with the cycle, uh, consolidated controls to adjust lighting and camera exposure, and management of game time, current time of day, etc. It is available up on GitHub. You can see some screenshots of it in action right here. We're going to head on over to the GitHub right now. So in terms of licensing, it is under the MIT license, which is the same license that Godot is released under. By the way, if you appreciate the work they do, do come on in here and give them a star. People always seem to appreciate that. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get started with this guy. So let's go down here and we will clone this repository. So you're going to need a current ish version of the Godot game engine. So let's, uh, let's go over here. There should be some instructions here that tells us exact version here. So uh, 4.3. So not just current ish, the current version. So again, come up here, grab the code like so. And then what we're going to do, open up a terminal and we're going to the temp directory because of course we are git clone and then paste that in. Now, you could also obviously do this uh, using uh, your own project, but I'm going to show you the demo here. So we're going to go into the directory that was just created. And then what you're going to see here is there is a demo in place, but if you want to use this in your own project, all you have to do is copy the add-ons folder. So these guys right here, copy this Sky 3D folder into your own project if you want to work from it that way. But instead, what we're going to do is use the demo project. So here we are in Godot 4.4 Dev 7. So this is as current as you could get. Once again, Godot 4.3 or higher is required. Now, interestingly enough, there does seem to be a little bit of a glitch, at least on Windows machines right now. Uh, this function, this is an uh, this value doesn't work. So basically, I just hacked it out. So set, set lights enabled is currently disabled. I just do a return statement there, and we get things into a working state. Obviously, that is a bug or an issue that will be resolved in time. All right, so what you see here in front of you, this is Sky 3D. So you see here you've got an animated skybox over top of our world. Nothing too impressive at this point in time. We have seen animated skyboxes before, but this guy, it's the logic behind it. So what you do is you add a Sky 3D into your world, and you're going to notice there are a number of sub nodes underneath it. With Sky 3D selected, come on over here, and what you can see is the current time of day. So right now, it's 8 o'clock in the morning. So let's move over. Now it's noon, or I guess now it's noon, and then we go and see the sun moving across the orbit. There we go. And then we get to nighttime. And then boom, now it is nighttime. So this is basically the gist of it. Now what you can do over here is say how many minutes is in your day cycle. So I'm gonna say one minute, like so. And now you're going to notice the time of day updates quite a bit faster. So now we're coming into daytime, your sun comes into the sky, it uh, lights up the world, and so on, and then out it goes, and goes to the other end, and eventually it's going to come back night. So you got all these values here for uh, that you could work with. You can change the amount of energy coming off of the sky dome if you wish over here. Uh, you've got uh, exposure settings that you can change over here. Uh, and then this is linked to an environment that is set up. So still using the Godot Sky settings there from the natural environment. Now you can notice down here, we have a number of different options as well. So we've got here, this is just a directional light that is our sun. This one here is our moon. So we can turn the sun off, turn the moon on if you wish to do so. And then over here, you have the time of day controller. By the way, if you do not want it to update in the editor, you can actually turn that off so you're not going to see it going through like so. And we can turn that back on. So what I'm going to do is go back around to the middle of the day. 
So let's make it 8 p.m. I guess middle of the day is different by my definition. We're going to set it back to 30. Now we're going to look a little bit at these clouds. So you got control over here of your sky dome. You're going to see a number of different options available here. So you got control of the moon, where the moon should be, and then the sun. So you're going to notice the sun is coming through. I think that would be the sun right there. So we could change the altitude of the sun. Oh, no, that's the moon. All right, let's go back to the moon then. So the moon, altitude. Okay, where's the moon? Which one is the moon? Maybe it doesn't update live as you're doing it. So you notice here, got a number of different options here. You also have control over the clouds. So 2D clouds, we've got the thickness that we can set. So thicker clouds right there. We also have cumulus clouds right here that we can change out. So we can do here uh, the coverage of the clouds like so. So you can obviously change out how your environment works. By the way, everything you're seeing here is programmable. So if you want to have, you know, a stormy night, you can come in here and basically jack up the clouds and then you could change the darkness in your world and so on. So you can see here, there are a ton of settings being exposed here for both uh, the sun, the moon, uh, deep space. I'm not a hundred percent old. So that's your star field at night uh, settings there. Got control over your, uh, your atmosphere. Uh, again, turbidity, my uh, moon, my tint and so on. You got fog controls over here and then your 2D clouds we saw earlier here. This is again, your controller for the time of day. So again, if you want to turn that off uh, in the game, you can do so. Turn it off in the editor. You could do so here. By the way, you can also do that. Uh, let's go back over here right here and turn it off on this guy right here. So sky, I uh, can basically disable both of them right here. Now your clouds are going to continue to be animated. Uh, that's a different thing completely, but now your sun and moon are moving at different paces. So once again here, so you see our day cycle should happen pretty quick unless I disabled it or did something stupid. I did do something stupid. All right, we'll ignore my Oh, no, it's still there. All right, so we're waiting for nighttime to come in. So you can see it comes up there. But if you want to turn that night cycle off, again, disable it right here. And now you're going to be stuck in this perpetual gloom. Uh, so this is, again, Sky 3D uh, from Tokusan Games. Now, I mentioned earlier on that this was based on another repository. So this actually is a fork of an earlier project. Uh, so the plugin was originally written in Godot 3 in GDScript and C Sharp by Jay Suler. Uh, original repository was deleted. They've revived it, ported the GDScript to Godot 4, and they're continuing to build on it. So uh, it is now being updated again. Uh, it is a very... Uh, full functioning dynamic sky. So again, you've got your clouds in there, you've got your time of day, light cycles, and so on. A very neat project from Tokusan Games. Again, another cool thing with Tokusan Games, they also released their Terrain 3D project. If you have not already checked that one out, I would highly recommend you do so there. I'm probably going to revisit this one at some point in time uh, because they've done a lot of development since I last covered it. And then now we have, again, this new Sky 3D system. Uh, let me know what you think. Comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.